Hey, what's up everyone? My name's Alec and today I'm in Santa Monica, California and I'm going to show you the new Scoot moped. Scoot, which was acquired by Bird earlier this year, has released a new electric moped that shares the design of the previously announced Bird Cruiser. Now, they're currently only available in Los Angeles as part of a pilot program and my guess is that Scoot will use the feedback it receives and incorporate it into a Bird branded moped that will eventually launch as the Bird Cruiser in more cities in early 2020. The Scoot moped has a maximum speed of 20 miles per hour and costs $5 for 30 minutes of riding. There's no official range announced yet, but in my testing, all the Scoot mopeds on the map that had a full battery showed a 14 mile range. Now, I'm not sure if 14 miles is the maximum range for the battery, or if Scoot's just limiting the range and battery output during the pilot program. Because the Juiced Scorpion, which is a moped that's very similar to Scoot's moped, has a 52 volt battery that gives it a 45 mile range. To unlock the Scoot moped, you can use either the Bird or the Scoot Kick app. In order to ride a Scoot moped, you must be at least 18 years or older and have a valid driver's license. Also, you need to wear a helmet, but don't worry, a helmet is attached to the moped. The cushioned and elongated seat, as well as the 20 inch tires, offer a very smooth ride, and the hydraulic disc brakes allow for reliable and powerful braking. The custom motor gives the Scoot moped the ability to climb hills in a breeze. I tested an uphill climb on UCLA's campus, and one student on a bird scooter was slowly ascending while I passed by at a steady pace. You need more power. Is that your own? Ah, it's a bird. It's a bird. It's a bird? Where did you get this? Uh, you can just find them on the street. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I've never app. seen this before. <laughs> <laughs> it's brand new. Yeah. Safety is a number one priority for Scoot, which is why every Scoot moped includes a helmet, two side mirrors, and both front and back lights. When you unlock the moped in the app, the light on the cable will flash blue, indicating that you can press the button to unlock the helmet. However, initially I had some issues unlocking the helmet when I took my first ride. Now I'm not sure if there were actual issues with my Bluetooth or I just got unlucky, but the light on the lock stayed red even though I unlocked the moped in the app. I had to go back into the app and lock and unlock the moped a few times before the helmet's lock light turned blue and I was able to successfully unlock and put on the helmet. The helmet has a double D-ring fastener which is found on some motorcycle helmets. So in order to fasten it, you have to push the end of the strap through both rings and loop it back through the first ring to tighten and secure it. You can use any of the mirrors to help you fasten your helmet before riding. The mirrors are adjustable, so make sure you adjust them before taking off so you have some rear visibility while riding. The front LED light offers decent visibility at night and the back light flashes whenever you brake. Here's a clip that showcases the strength of the front LED light in action. The LCD screen shows speed and battery info and is nearly identical to the screens on Bird's normal scooters. Scoot hasn't yet officially announced that two people can ride on the moped, and I believe it's actually illegal in California for two people to ride on the same moped, but the seat is long enough to fit two people, and the back has grab handles and pegs for a passenger, so we'll just have to wait and see if Scoot explicitly says whether or not the moped supports two people. The double-sided center kickstand makes it easy to park the moped and keeps it stable while it's not in use. The Scoot moped should be ridden on the street, or depending on local laws, in the bicycle lane, and should never be ridden on the sidewalk. When you're done with your ride, you should park the Scoot moped on the street in designated motorcycle spaces or between car parking places. Hopefully Scoot keeps the maintenance of their mopeds very timely, because if helmets go missing, then it'll be a huge issue for the next rider since they won't have a helmet. 
I've already seen one moped that had a broken mirror. The left mirror on my moped was loose, and it actually popped off while I was riding it. Luckily, it landed on my arm and I was able to catch it and put it back on. However, later on it fell off again into the street. I did a U-turn and tried to rescue the mirror, but a car had ran it over and it cracked, so it was useless. So that's all for the specs. Now let's see some ride footage. But first, all this explaining has made me really hungry. Let's make a stop at McDonald's really quick. Alright, I got some food and now I'm happy. Cue the montage. Well, that'll do for this video. If you liked it, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe for future videos from me. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.